So Wesley and I are playing a game in here and I'm watching this barb tank and I'm in the back of it and I know it's dirty, but it's just a glass. But look on the glass, look at this movement here. There is a bunch of little fish, look all over. They've gotta be baby barbs. And look how big they are. There is a ton of them. How awesome is that? That is so cool. Oh, look at this tiny, tiny one. Look at the size difference. So this is definitely working. Oh my God. How awesome. And you can see the filter doesn't actually run at night. Maybe why they come out. I don't know. Crazy dude. So cool. And then there's the parents. <sighs> How awesome. And this is why I keep dirty tanks because nature's dirty. It's the way it goes. <sighs> but how exciting is that? Might as well keep these guys fed. Crazy. Here's what their lights on. Just turned on. The babies are treated. Back in the rocks. Oh, there's a few still out. That is crazy. As many of you know, I've been wanting to breed these guys, and I mean, I have a little bit, but those are some decent numbers. Well, it seems like it's nighttime when it's best to get these mascara bar babies. Try not to shine directly on them, but man, you can see them all over the glass here. I think I'm going to go ahead and collect some. There is a lot of them. All right, so I managed to get quite a few out of there. Check it out. Look how many there are. It's wild how when they're young, they're all striped like that. There's probably just as many in there of different sizes. Some of them are getting pretty big. Pretty cool. Many of you who've been watching me for a long time know these fish, these Dawkinsia similis. I know some people say, oh, that's not Dawkinsia similis. That's this, that, and the other. No, these were Dawkinsia similis. When I bought them years ago, they may have changed some things, but these are Dawkinsia similis. And I have been trying to breed these and have bred them with success a little bit. And I know this tank looks horrible but i'll explain that here soon but anyways i have bred a few of them out here and there just trickle spawning them from moving them from one tank to another playing musical fish but now i finally got a system where i am getting a lot of them from and the big reason why this tank is still dirty like this i could scrape it it would look clean but this makes them comfortable if it ain't broke don't fix it i don't want to go in there and just disturbing them you can see right here where they always collect how they just keep all that off right there from the path that they run right here all the way down pretty wild how they do that and in here you can see a bunch of them and they're actually striped when they're young like this so they'll end up losing their stripes and then starting looking more like the parents as they get older i got quite a bit of them which is pretty exciting and here as far as the tank layout the bottom here you can see the cracks and crevices and all the places for eggs and fry to just live and grow up away from these guys so they won't predate them look see there's one in the rocks right there just not far from them sitting in the rocks so there's a lot of them in there part of me doesn't want to move them and just see what they do and how many I could get out of them but I think I'll do that with the next tank that way I know that I will have more babies here underneath the filter there so the next step is to move these guys which is never fun because these guys are wily but I'm gonna end up putting them up here and then we'll kind of let them go community there end up letting these guys grow out as far as the babies pull them out and then I don't know I'll choose if I want to play musical fish again or not but either way nice to have a good method to get these fish actually going because these aren't fish that you can just get anywhere they are absolutely gorgeous and it's hard to see just because of the glare the front of the tank but there is a lot of guppy grass and reishi in here because they love to eat their greens and vegetables and that guppy grass keeps them fed even though they love their granules these guys will eventually get a forever home over here in a much much bigger system which i'll have a breeding process over there for them as well so still lots to do here in the fish room and now i know how i can mass produce them which is 
is something I've been trying to do for a long, long time. But we'll get these guys out. We get it cleaned up too. It's so hard to have the fancy, nice YouTube picture quality fish tanks when you're a breeder. It's just, it's not equitable. So for me, you will see dirty tanks. Just know why. Now for the fun part, I gotta try to catch these guys. Oh man, they're already freaking out. Not a one. Not one. I forgot, I need to drop this water level like half. If I can keep them from going up, then they can't get away. So I gotta drop this water level. All right, that should be easier. See how I've got them scared over onto this side that way because there's there's a bunch of babies over here. So I don't want them spending most of their time over here. You can just see they're everywhere. So cool. This should go easier. Then I gotta try to squeeze them into this hole on the ladder up there. Not much headroom up there. Here we go. One at a time, if I got it. Two. All right, got that one filling up. Got them up top here. Cute. Can actually see them. And then I'll eventually scrape. Then I'll eventually scrape this and be able to see them better. Which I think these guys will actually like being on top and having me below them. Now they won't feel the predation from up top as much. And hopefully they'll lay babies in here and then we can see them in the back on this huge pile, which should be really neat. And always make sure these guys are covered. There's little organisms, Daphne and stuff in here with these guys too. Hey guys, how's it going? You guys like it? Yeah? A little more space, some sand. Yeah, you guys like the top row, don't you? I thought you guys might. We'll keep them in here longer and see how long they'll colony breed up in here. I wanted to at least want to gather some babies down below. Even though I did already and put them in another tank, right? You know, more the merrier. I know a lot of you guys been wanting them. Pump back on. These guys I do use a pump on. Now the babies I won't. But these guys being as big as they are and how much they love river flow. They get one. As you can see, I actually lay it down on the bottom more like a spring head. See this purple on here forming from this power head from the current. And it's what I'm scraping off here on the side, which I thought was dead decaying algae. I don't know what it is. Some people say that that purple can be like a sulfur or something that's sticking to it. Now, obviously it's not hurting anything. And these guys are always grazing on it. But I'm scraping it off and this stuff is jet black. So as I scrape down each time, I am wiping it on a paper towel. This is my fourth paper towel. That way it's not all in the tank everywhere, but man, look at these guys. How cool is this? So the babies are really coming out now. I even changed the water yet, but look how many there is. How exciting is that? And how cool with the stripes and everything. Love it. And I have been seeing some smaller than these guys. These guys aren't the only ones, they're just the new biggest ones in here. But there are small ones growing up underneath here. Anyways, let's keep cleaning and I'll show more. Scraped. I got it all cleaned up, at least to where we can see in it now. Babies are all just chilling in the rocks. It was really cool watching them group up earlier. As you can see, they're a lot more spread out, just grazing off the tidbits. They're so cute. I love them. Look who it is. See a little red on the top fin. Hey. 
are all over the tank. All the way down. Just here and there. Actually, little pockets of them. If you're wondering why my tanks look like this, check out my channel. My last video was talking and discussing about different aquariums and why they look certain ways. Not just these two, but many of them, which I think that will help a lot of you guys. But anyways, if you guys like this mascara breeding video, I've got many breeding videos. I've got a breeding playlist. I've got all kinds of videos. So go check out the channel. And if you like it, please hit that like button. And until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great 